Disclaimer, copyrights enforced. The following is based on true events, facts, fiction, second party, observations, nonsense, hearsay, bullshit. You be the judge. One thing we guarantee is 100% pure entertainment. All names, places, persons, and things, etc. have been changed for privacy issues. This show is R-rated, may contain obscene language, nudity, not for persons under 18. Please listen responsibly. I'm ready, bros. I'm ready. Welcome. Blowhard Talk Art here, guys, with Julian, his co-host. Reimer here, as always. Really? Eh? You're never taking a week off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, no. That's funny. You heard the female laugh uh, listeners. Uh, our lovely Sabrina decided to uh, make uh, an appearance, which is great. Welcome yeah. back, love. Hi. It's good to be here. Thanks yeah, for having thank me. Nice. That's uh, what you've been doing all week since the last time. We haven't uh, heard it. It was pretty funny. We haven't aired it yet, but I heard uh, your episode. It's pretty nice. Yeah, really. I, I enjoyed it. It was fun listening to it back, but I thought about <laughs> it. And uh, I, I've, I don't know why it didn't occur to me, but I do have a, a story of one girl in particular. I'm sure you have thousands, but you must have one like... Like something like crazy, right? Yeah. Special. Yeah. So this one, so this one girl, one night we, she'd had a late appointment. Oh, so you're working the, to interrupt. You're working the phones so, now. Yeah. So I was working the phone and this one particular girl had a late appointment and he was a regular, he's a good guy, he's a good customer. So again, we give him good customer service and he had to push back an hour. Okay. So, so she waited and she, she waited. Yeah. And, and for our fans out there who are listening and didn't catch the last episode, Sabrina is uh is a used to be a phone girl that would answer phones at, a, at one of toronto's top agencies right yes and uh and this is uh this is hearkening back for those listen to that episode it's, it's, she's episodes. A, it was good yeah <laughs> episodes yes there's all the past episodes but it was good and so sabrina's come back and yeah, tell us. Thank you. Thank you for bringing everybody up to I didn't even give you speed. an intro because people were like... No, no, you are right. You are right. I apologize yeah. for not doing that because we, all of a sudden you're back. People, if like, you didn't listen to it, you'd back be... Back from where? Was she in the bathroom? No. no, no. But on the other hand, that would be very disappointing because if everybody's not listening, then I'd be... Uh, like, I wouldn't be... Like, we got new listen. listeners. We got new listeners. For <laughs> sure. She brings a very good dynamic. But anyways, you know what? Enough of the nonsense. So you pushed back the appointment to get the girl another call, which she was cool waiting, yeah. I guess. And... Yeah, so we had we had an hour of downtime, and it was the end of the day. She was already working later than everybody else already, so this was one of the very few times that I had some downtime, uh, and, you know, she didn't have much going on. I think the TV was broken in the room or something, and we go, all right, well, let's, let's chat. Do you want to talk? So you called her. So, yeah, so I called her, and um, I just I was curious because I've never really had this kind of a conversation with any of the girls for before. Sure, for sure. And I said, "How did you? How did you get into this? Like, how how did this yes. become a part of your life? Because this girl was booked up immediately. She could make she could work the craziest hours. If she wanted to work four a.m. to nine a.m., she would still be booked up. For solid. sure, I totally understand what you're going. Yeah, yeah So she's good. She's good at what she does. And. Mm -hmm. um, I asked her, I said, like, how did you get into this? And I'm telling you, this girl picked the right job. Like, I, <laughs> I've never met anybody that loves sex as much as this girl. And she told me that she basically got started when she was 18 fucking her best friend's dad. What? Yeah. From so, what, like high school? Like the last year? Like she yeah, was yeah. Like, so she was uh, still like, in, this is like her high school best friends. And she also told me some like crazy stories about how her and her friend were like freaks and they would go to all these parties and like fool around with each other in front of dudes basically for attention and quite frankly I'd rather, I'd rather do it for money than for attention where the fuck was that at these parties i wasn't there <laughs> yeah where is this party <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly so so she said that's how she started like you know her escal her her journey so I guess she had always kind of like shared a flirtation with her friend's dad and then they were at the cottage how old was the dad oh god i don't know like 40, 50, I think 60. like late forties, early fifties would yeah, be my okay. would be yeah, yeah, my whatever. guess. Yeah, what yeah. I remember. If she's eighteen, nineteen, the guy's got to be yeah, twenty five years at least. Fifty, close to close to fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah okay. So they all went to the cottage together. I don't know where her friend was, if she like went into town with the mom or the, for whatever reason, it was just her and the dad there, and she just decides to flash him 
one day after years of this like weird tension building up and she was like super into the dad. What do you mean flash, flash. him? Where were her. they? In the backyard or something? Uh, where? In the house? Like, no, she was, I think she was like in the pool or something and she just like pulled her bathing suit to the side. Well, okay, so back it up here. Hold on, wait. Yeah, yeah, I'm so a little bit. Here uh, she is. So, so this, this girl you're talking to, she's saying that she is sitting, she's by the pool and yeah. she just flashes the dad like just without... Any... The dad must have given her signs? or yeah. so. Okay, so you got to be detailed here because we're not on YouTube, so people right. can't see your facial expressions. <laughs> the, the flashing so, look, yes. So, whim, so women's intuition is a very real thing, and if somebody wants to bone you, you know that person wants of to bone course. you. Of course. The girls, right. when they say it, they, they, when they show it, you know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And so, Fuck, why can't I get those shows? But go on. Hilarious. <laughs> so they like started building a relationship with each other from then on out and then it got to the point where the dad was saying like oh I've got a business trip this weekend and so he started just taking her up to the cottage also and he like, was lying after yeah. to spend time with, wow. the, with, the, with an 18 year old she's not a kid but she's young close yeah, enough yeah. Um, and it was her best friend and it was her best friend and then did uh, her best friend have any idea so not for years and then eventually, I don't know, I can't remember what exactly happened, but some bullshit happened between girls because we are petty as fuck. Mm -hmm. Like, I know dudes that have had best friends since kindergarten. Me, we don't, that's the only friends I have. We yeah. don't... Minus we, Reimer and Pat, which I want to get rid of soon, but go on. <laughs> we get pissed at each other, <laughs> something petty happens, and then we drop each other. But anyway, so some bullshit happened between her and this friend. And then in the fight, she decides to, to tell this girl, well, guess what? I've been fucking your dad. Oh, and in the meantime, she'd also been fucking this girl's boyfriend. What? Oh. Uh -huh. So this is just what? Bombshell. This is a big She Vietnam. said it like that? She yeah. just said it. Like she just started banging the, boy, the dad. Like, and did the girl believe her? Yeah. I get, and that, that put the nail in the coffin of the friendship. So they obviously stopped being friends. And then that's kind of how she started to get into it. I wonder what happened realized, to the dad. I have no idea. Did he say he did? I mean, I'm sure he denied it. He must have. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All, guy, still he denied, all guy, he denied it. He, I don't know it, but I'm sure he denied yeah, it. Yeah, I'm sure he denied it. And like, why would you admit it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. who's gonna who's gonna believe who's gonna believe it anyway? Because most people, when they find out stuff like that, they don't want to believe. They it. They don't it's want true. to, but mm. they might think it, but they don't want to believe it. Yeah, yeah. But it sounds like something you could say to really be vengeful, right? Like I'm fucking your dad well, and your boyfriend. And your boyfriend. And that I'm sure that she believed because the boyfriend probably, the dad I can see denying, the boyfriend's probably stupid and young. Right. Yeah. And he probably gave he signs, right? So. Yeah. But that's what got the ball rolling. And like to this day, she still works in the industry and her preference is married guys with kids. She likes. Her, pre she, her preference. Her preference. Right. What is it about married guys with kids? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let, oh, hold, excuse me. How she said her preference is married men with children. Right. So, like fifty year older gentlemen. Like, I'm she guessing so. Yeah. So she wouldn't like care for if the guy's thirty five with a beautiful big dick. He doesn't care. She doesn't. She just wants a married man with kids. Yep. That's like that's her, her cup king. of tea. Yeah. Her, yeah. Her that's king. her thing. Okay. And I think that to a degree, it's like. Yeah, I can I can fuck some thirty five year old with a big dick, cool. But if I can get this guy, who's got a life, who's got kids, who's got a wife, to I bypass see. all of that, then that puts me on an even higher level. Like, Was it I for money when that. they started? Yeah. From the day one? So wait, wait. So wait. I think the day one, it, there was no money involved, and then it just sort of probably turned into like one of those sugar baby situations. That's, yeah. Okay. She said she saw him like five or six times a month for years. Yes. And he would just when he really? was here, he'd give her a little, get, give her a little envelope, a little here you go, spending money. So after he, when did he out her? I mean, when did the, when did he, the, he, she tell the other girl that it was, um, I'm fucking your dad thing. I think that they were in their like mid twenties. I think she was probably, I think she'd been doing it for like five, six, seven years. It's incredible. Oh, is she still doing it today? I don't know. She, I don't think she's doing the dad, but she's doing other people's dads. <laughs> so going back to the dad. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, what happened to that dad? They, did, did the girl friend confront the dad? Do you know that part of the story? I don't know that part of the story, but... I'm sure even, like she said, even if they told, the yeah. guy probably denied it. Like, what is he going to tell his daughter? Yeah, I did. Yeah, and yeah. the it's the uh, the trope of like, oh, that bitch is crazy or that chick is crazy. It's Bottom an line easy, is, it's you, an easy yeah, escape. you've never yeah. heard the expression deny, deny, then I have the gun in my hand, the body's lying on the beside me on the yeah, floor, dead, me. and then the cops come. 
you shot him? No. It's the like whole, you, it's the yeah, whole premise lie. of that Shaggy song. Yeah. It wasn't yes. me. Yeah. Da, 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 What's the song da. called? It wasn't me. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. It wasn't me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can say, I got it. I don't got it in my head right now, but I can hear it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't think I don't want I don't think you guys want to pay for the copyrights on that anyway. <laughs> so she <laughs> it was into these married men after. So that was her kink. Right. Liking older gentlemen with children. What was the reason? Did you ask her why married men? Well, that was kind of my guess, but she also said that her answer yeah, was her that answer, she yeah. likes the idea that when these guys are sleeping with their wives, that they're thinking about her. And I think that that gives her a sense of power. For sure. Yeah. And you know, she, probably, she probably knows that they're thinking about her because they're texting her. Right. I, I knew a girl her. related to something like that. The girl actually didn't. She goes, I like when they think about when they're fucking their ugly wives, she said, and I'm okay. And they think of my young pussy, it turns me on. And I'm like, all right, I understand, but fuck, man, that's kind of evil it's to say it like that, man. Like, it could also be very exciting. She gets off on it by the sound. She just does, to but remind you, this is a girl I knew through working. This was not someone I knew socially. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm sure there's girls that you probably even know. Like, she's just a regular girl. Yeah. And then how did she get into the the industry field? Like after, like when she was like 18, you said she started, was that her like icing on the cake to say, I'm jumping in? Well, I guess she told me that jumping into sex work was the best decision that she's ever oh, made. Oh, that's right. You did just say that. Wow. Because yeah. that's... It, it took away her, like her, her, she's, what's, she's, her hunger, yeah, her appetite. Yeah, it's, it, it satisfied the appetite that she had that she has for like having this much sex and having this much control over other people and mm -hmm. her she's her, still she's still working and her twitter is insane her passion meets her her twitter is insane eh huh. no no pictures all oh. words it's all emojis and and she's popular as thoughts. fuck and eh? she's extremely popular is it, is it titillating is she like uh like a writer that kind of like if you were to read it you get excited I mean, I'm I'm straight, so no, but <laughs> but but one would, yes. Yeah, there's some girls on Twitter. I've read some things. They say some crazy shit. Yeah, and it was always like it was always like, oh, come come see me, so that you can think about me when you're with with your wife. Yeah, later. yes, yes. Yeah, that girl we put on our um, we did the shuttle for Emma at Muse. Yep. She tweeted. Uh, she said something like. Who wants to watch, get, watch me get fucked over the kitchen counter while I squirt all over his face after? And I'm like, okay. Like, you know, like, it wasn't yeah. like that. It was very, it was more, Ooh. it was better. She said it much sexier and better, but at the end of the day, like. She had 100,000 likes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you guys love that shit, man. You guys fucking are, they, you write, you talk. Talking is the key. Like I told you earlier in the last episode, the first 10 seconds makes you think how it's going to go. Right. Her attitude, her face. Is she smiling or is she like, uh, uh, uh. It's the same or thing the... as a normal date. I guess. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, if you think yeah. about it, in the first, they say so, that a woman knows if she wants to sleep with a man in the first 10 seconds. Yeah. Of meeting really, her. right? Yeah. Yeah. And a, and a man knows whether there's going to be sex in the first uh, 10 seconds. Whether, Come on. 10 no, seconds. Hold on. Nope. Yeah, no. Nope. Well, it doesn't doesn't mean that she's. So I went on a date them, knows... uh, a few months ago. I sat down with her at uh, before the Corona. Sorry, I'm lying. But Jack asked her, was uh, whatever. And ten seconds in, I knew that I wasn't gonna. You know what? I think you're right. And if I did, she probably wanted money because she was dressed up with high heels, a mini skirt. She looked so out of place. And you know what? I was wearing a blue jay hat, a blue jay shirt. She goes, "What's with all the gear?" I go, uh, "The what?" The gear, I know what she meant, right? Yeah. yeah. I go, the gear, I go, it's casual. It's sun it's a casual Sunday. It's Tuesday. What do you want me to wear? A fucking suit? Yeah, and we're at Jack Astor's. Yeah, and <laughs> she went she came, she looked so out of place, it was ridiculous. You know that day there now that I think about it, I could have fucked the bartender. There you go. There you go. You also know if you go for coffee, there's gonna be no sex. Because sex never happens over coffee. I don't oh, you mean if you went for a date for at a yeah. coffee shop? Let's meet a coffee shop. Rhymer. Yes. Do you want me to like freak out on you? What you tell me you can have go for a, go for a coffee? I've never gone with a girl to have a coffee. There you go. Because that's gay. I mean, <laughs> nothing's wrong with nothing's wrong with that. But I just wouldn't go for a coffee. Like, come on. See, as somebody like I don't drink, so that's that is a first date for me. 
Like, we'll get a coffee, we'll go for a walk. Okay, now you guys are getting okay. up on me. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay. I, I, don't be, I don't want to be wrong. We're not having So where do you want to go? You want to go to Tim Hortons? You want to go to Tim Hortons, have that double vanilla ice, and then, and then we'll bang? Is that what you're Tim telling Hortons. me? Tim Hortons. <laughs> where do you Please. go for coffee for? Think, a floor. Like, wh- where? What location? I'll go to anywhere that's not... Tim, Tim Hortons. Hortons. <laughs> McDonald's? Starbucks? Starbucks? Yeah, like Starbucks. Starbucks has got the ugliest fucking coffee. Something that's like locally owned where like the beans are fair trade. Maybe they oh, roast them in-house. All those, all those hipster places yes. that charge you five bucks for crap. Right, right, right. Got right. it, got it, got yeah, it. Yeah, it was actually cheaper to go for a drink than it is to go for a coffee. It's, but... it's cheaper to get like one $6 coffee than it is to get somebody drunk enough to have sex with you. Yeah, that's a good point. That's, <laughs> that's a good point. Money. I've spent she thousands on alcohol and I got nothing. You could have went for a, a, you know, a six dollar coffee. How much coffees could I have gave the girl? <laughs> Two, she'd be shaking after, like you know, <laughs> want a double espresso. That's hilarious. I never thought of that. Yeah. I remember off topic. Me, I went on to this. I met this girl. I was drinking Ryan Ginger at the time. This was, I was younger. It was stupid. I don't drink gay shit like that again with the gay thing. Take that back. Not gay. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I don't know, I but don't it know. ain't that. Okay, help Stupid. me out. Uh, how do you mean, lame? Effeminate? Okay, I had a feminine drink with like a ginger ale and whiskey. Now I just do pound shots. But anyways, she was drinking pints of beer. Yeah. And a Ryan ginger in a glass is easy to drink, right? Like it's right. very little. And she was, I go, okay, how many is she going to have? Six. Same time, I have my rise. She'd have her pint, two, three, four. I'm like, so okay. for every pint she's having, you're having three drinks. I'm having one. Oh. oh, we're going one for one. I'm going. She's got to back off here sooner or later. Right. She's having full pints, and I'm having this. So at the end of the day, I go. This girl's got to back off. And I'm like, what the fuck? How many beers could she possibly drink? At the end, she drank like twelve draft full pints. Right. Is she from small town Ontario? I don't know where the fuck she was from. All I know is she was fucking bad man and you know I didn't, I didn't bang her either. <laughs> so, so the moral of that story the moral is... The of the story is I think I dropped 200 bucks. She oh drank me with draft which is like ridiculous. I've never seen a girl drink that much beer in my life. I was shocked. I wanted to buy her the beer just to see how much she would stop. But she never did. Anyways. That's funny. Back to the coffee ugly shop. So we go for coffee, we bang now. So anyways, I wouldn't go for coffee with a girl because I think people don't do that. Or am I that dumb? They do. They, do. they Actually, absolutely do. Supposing in, the, in Britain it's a double entendre to say, uh, do you want to go for coffee? It means we're going to have sex. Because there was a commercial, like a Nescafe commercial or some shit like that in the UK yeah. in the... I don't know, 80s, 90s? So if I say, back then, if you said, we're going for coffee, means we're banging? So if you were to say to someone who's British, you want to go for coffee, that means... Hello there, bloody bastard. You go yeah. for coffee, we bang? Is that, is that yeah, a good idea? so it's yeah. a euphemism in the UK for... A euphemism, yes. Yeah. Oh, uh-huh. big word. I don't know it. I'll give the Google. <laughs> <laughs> he used to pull that shit on me, too. Yeah. <laughs> he was, what was that word you said? Bujolet? Bourgeoisie? Moose bush? I'm like, what? It's a taste sampler. I go, why don't you just fucking say that? What did you just say? What? What? Bourgeoisie? The other one. <laughs> a moose bush. No, the other, the, the first one you said, the one about the. Uh, oh, euphemism. Euphemism. Holy fuck. <laughs> UFO. No. Nope. Nope. Nah, we'll get there later. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. You're all wrong, all wrong. <laughs> Oh, let me. Okay, you know what? We've always used to play the abbreviation game with her, with uh, me and you to see how like uh, you knew the the codes. Remember the yes. Oh, this would be great. That me, was a learning curve when I started working the phone. Okay, let's see how smart you are. Oh God. C I M. Oh, I'm not gonna say that. Oh come Dang on. It. I might be connected to this role, but I'm a prude. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll use a better one that way. You don't have to be ugly. Okay. Um, tea bag. Oh well. Well, everybody knows what that is. Okay, you're not going to say it? You're not going to play the game? Yeah, popping your balls in somebody's mouth? That's gross. <laughs> All right, okay, thank you, thank you. Good, good, good. One for one. No, because he did so bad. He knew well, nothing. I know the, well, you know that I know the first one if I wasn't willing to say okay, it. Okay, okay. I know I you didn't, know. I didn't know, I didn't know any of these. Did, I, I was, told him DP, green. DP. Well, everybody, everybody, everybody You keep saying it. Is. He didn't know shit. This is why I want to play this game. I didn't know DP. What was it? Double penetration. There you okay. go. Yeah. Welcome. 
Thank Welcome you. to the game. You're, but you're I, I on learned, the board. I, right? I learned that from um, uh, what did I, uh, Orgasmo. Who? Trey Parker, Matt Stone, their very first movie, Orgasmo, technically their second. Uh, where t there's a, a Mormon who is going door to door, right? Trying to get people to join the Book of Mormon. And then he stumbles across uh, these porn filmmakers and he gets involved in the porn filmmaking industry. Great film. Uh, and yeah, and he's, there's this one line that says, uh, all right, we need somebody to, uh, we need to get someone, I don't know, the woman, like, you know, S Sandra ready for the DP, DA. DA. Yeah, uh, double penetration, double anal. So it's yes, like double yes. anal, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not called the anal, it's just called double anal. It's called anal, two dicks. <laughs> That's the long form. That's the long form. Jesus. Okay, I'm going to get you with one last one, All and right. I know you won't get it. It's one of those nasty ones, but not nasty sexually, nasty, nasty. Russian. No, no, Russian? No, no, no. What was the one the fuck? Was it Russian? Yes, Russian. I don't know. You want to hunt? You want to hear nasty? Well, I just said I was a prude, but now... No, no, but this is nasty, nasty. I puke in your mouth and you swallow it. How much extra would you charge for that? I don't know if this... I've never heard it. I don't think there's a price for this. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still gay. I'm like, I like how you're thinking. Like, what is the price point on that? And Is, that, <laughs> is spitting popular? That would cost... <laughs> I would... That 50 Gs. I'll do that for 50 Gs. The puke in your mouth. Gross. That's right. gross. Good to know. It's good to know your price. Fifty G's. That's a pretty good penny. But, but no, you know what? That's... Somebody, if somebody knocked on the door with fifty G's, I'd probably still say no. I think you're lying. Yeah. Fifty Who grand. Knows? A fucking. You take it easy. Fifty grand. Not fifteen. Fifty. Five, five zero. zero. Five yeah. zero. Even fifteen. You do. You do it for fifteen bucks. <laughs> oh, shut up! I ain't doing this for fifteen bucks. No, no, I'm just anyway. joking. Anyway, what was the one I was going to say? What about spitting? What, what do you mean, what about Do it? girls like spitting? What do you mean, do they like it? Spitting? Like, spit this one girl told me she started to cry. The guy gave her 20 bucks, and he goes, all I want to do is you open your mouth, and he was like like dropping his spit, but he wasn't spitting. It was like making it hang, so suck gross. it up, Ooh. drip it in. She came out, this girl takes facials, she does whatever, Ooh. but the spitting yeah. made her puke and cry. I felt so bad. I go, what did he do? Like, I'll fucking kill him. She goes, he was playing the spit game. He let it like like stringy spit into her mouth. And I go, why did you do it for? I go, you know, in this in our industry, it's you're you have the you're the last say. Yeah. He, fuck his twenty dollars. You should have told him get the fuck out. No. Oh, you're not into that? No. Sabrina no. doesn't like spitting in the mouth, guys. No <laughs> strings. No. no strings. No, no stringy but that, spit. But everybody's got their own thing that they're into, and that is now a thing that people are into. Spitting I'm, in each other's mouths. Like that is, just it is, it is, it is, it is. Yeah. What, like, just, like, God You're not, up. like, you're not horking in her right, mouth. Right, But the stringy thing is, like, I thought that was kind of weird. That's what you do when you're a child. When you torture like a you little yeah, when you fucking pin down somebody. your sibling or yeah. you're like or like somebody on the you know it's on your torture. street and it's a torture for sure. Gross. Waterboarding and spitting is torture. But don't like sometimes you know guys spit in the girl's mouth to get him more wet so she can give him a better blowjob or is that just on porn and I'm fucking fantasizing? That no, that's I think where it comes from. Like that's where this whole concept of spitting into somebody right. else's mouth came from is from porn. Like that's where mo a lot of people learn. Well, you know the bad thing about porn is, you know what? A lot of these youths today, 16, 17, they're banged, but they were telling me they were getting banged. And the girl goes, I'm not satisfied until you choke the fuck out of me. And I'm like, where did you see this? She goes, I watch it on porn. The guys love it. I go, no, babe. I go, they don't, it's wrong. I go, it's not about, choking is nice, but to a point of uh, like, I'm not going to knock you out. Right. And then I have to wake you, revive you, and you had an orgasm. <laughs> I'm like, I say you die. Yeah, yeah. yeah. brain damage at Pass. the very least. But they're into it. And it's like, where did you learn this it's shit? When I was in high school, or 18, 19, 20, you're learning fucking, I don't know, a blowjob would be wonderful. Just a regular, a boob would be wonderful. Right. These girls are fucking doing, uh, they're walking around half naked, taking fucking... Well, I think that that's the thing, right? The it's internet like the, brought it, the right? More, the more we normalize 
sex and like people used to you used guys used to like jerk off to women's lingerie catalogs that's all now, we had and now you've got girls on instagram that look way more trashy or like more revealing than those anyway and like that's what's now the baselines which ups the next level which ups the next level so now Absolutely. people need weirder and weirder well and weirder there's shit. a there's a yeah. feminist in porn shannon mitchell or sharon mitchell she goes okay we went to anal we went to double penetration a uh, double anal then this one girl tried triple. She goes, what's next? You know, Andrea Cechlik, Cechlik, one of the top porn stars, she goes, I would do four, but it's, it's impossible. The guy goes, what do you mean? It's physically impossible to line up our bodies to get four dicks in your butt. That's horrifying. No, yeah. no, no. Let's but think of it as the, realistically. Yeah, but, but like, the physics point of view. Yeah, I see the what you're physics saying. point of view. Yes, the science. But there's time. This is science. About it. I'm teaching science. <laughs> this is, oh, yes. This Sorry. Is, this, is I'm geometry. Teaching, this is geometry. Yeah, land. Ma- yeah, coordination of the landing. But <laughs> tectonic plates are not lining up. She goes. I would do it if I would do it Please. if I could. If it, it's possibly impossible, but I'm thinking, is it impossible to this way? Maybe I don't yeah. know. It'd probably be pretty hard. And it probably tried at some point. She is her, like, she is the total, yeah, she could take it. If, if it's yeah. done, she could do it. Like, her ass is fucking bigger than fucking... Um... <laughs> See, anal used to be that, that thing that would be like, maybe, you know, you could get to it, right? It used to be like, a, could possibly happen at one point. But now it seems like people open with anal. Y- y- yep. I yeah. don't understand when everybody decided that porn like, internet. Oh, yeah, if you don't, if you're a porn star, and you don't do anal. You're you're, you're no, I'm nothing. Talking, I'm but talking I, outside of that. I'm hey, outside like, outside the world now is like porn. I know all these 17, 18 year old girls are watching porn, uh, learning these moves of getting choked, and, learning and, these and moves anal. of getting. And I'm gonna suggest honestly, the vagina is a great place to start if you're gonna have. Sex. If you're gonna have sex, maybe just start with the normal stuff. Yeah, who starts with the ass? That's what the kids we're. Are now. That's what we're saying. Yeah. It's, they really? open with anal. Like, I hey, wish I was nineteen again. Gross. Fuck yeah. me, man. <laughs> it's like they don't even want to touch the vagina. Like, really? Like, remember, I was telling you that story about the the religious guy and the girl. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They yeah. spent six months together before uh, getting married, but because he was religious, I talked about this a few podcasts. He didn't want to. Yeah, yeah, he didn't, didn't want to violate the. He didn't yeah. want. Yeah. I've heard that before, though. That's but. Don't tell me that a young girl today wants to get fucked in the ass first. No religion necessary. No, nope, that supposedly is a thing. Well, I wonder if this is stuff that chicks are actually into or if they think that it's stuff that I guys are into and then because It's the they internet get... that made them think that way. There's no way they, they got but, into that by themselves. But my thought is that if a lot of women don't know what they want and kind of society doesn't teaches us that we're supposed to be an object of what you want. So if we're thinking that you want to slap us in the face, then we convince ourselves that we want to get slapped that's in the right, face. That's right, that's right. Because it's going to then make you happy, which in some weird turn is going to then make me I'll happy. agree with you because yeah. that's what the internet, I think, ruined the society. Because and then you get a little hardwired for that high behavior. High expectations are all getting, like, we're all getting, like, this is nuts. Like these, every porn you watch now is daddy, uncle, uh, girl. Uh, that ba- shit makes me so grossed out. No, uh, uh, stepdaughter, yes, stepdaughter, father. Like it's like yeah. every. It's like okay, man. Like I look at my. You you can't be like that. It's not right. It's not. But why do they keep pushing this shit, man? Because we gotta just keep. It's like somebody it's keep that, advancing the, the the. Otherwise, what are they gonna talk about? Yeah. Well, it's like when you're a kid, you get hooked on sugar. Then you're a teenager, you start smoking cigarettes. Then you start drinking. Then you start smoking weed. Then you start blowing coke. And then you start fucking smoking meth and heroin. And it yeah, just then gets you die. Yeah. More yeah. and more yeah. out of control. Going back to the Same an- thing with sex. Cool. Yeah, and going back to the analog days when it used to just be Playboy. Then came Hustler, and Hustler had to be a little bit different than Playboy, so it was a little bit more raunchy. And then the European yeah. magazines came in; they were raunchier, so it kept and upping the ante. They upped the ante, but yeah. when is it going to end? Because you when had to start separate your brand from the other brand. Fucking baseball bats inside them. Like, <laughs> like, uh, the prob- there's probably end? already out there. It's this is why I'm going to die alone. Actually, there was this one called Extreme uh, the Insertions, like dildos and stuff. There was this fucking dildo. It was fucking like like this, like I can't, I don't know, five, four feet. Uh-huh. With, it was huge. And this girl was just no. pounding the, I'm like, this is ridiculous. How does this work? Fun. How does it work? She's destroyed her body. Yeah. So, I don't know. Like, it doesn't, for me, it's, 
The internet, it's all the internet's fault. Anyways, yeah. the internet's made everybody ugly. You know, one day it's going to be retro and hip again to do missionary. You know, just bring it back to the old missionary style. Yeah. People go, that's kinky. Let's do a missionary with your bra on. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I have I'm thinking right now, when was the last time I actually did a missionary position? Jesus. I know Jesus, you know, that was Jesus, the last time. Like, Jesus, you don't care? Or Jesus, you want me to tell you? No, no, that's, that's who started the missionary position, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. I've never done it forever. Some cultures do it with the, the sheet, don't they? That's There's like Jews. The, yeah? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a specific, like, subsect of the religion, but that is a part of it. They I don't understand what you said. Oh, yeah. What, 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 what? The, there, there is a subsect of... Uh, Judaism. The, of Judaism. You're using where the they, big word again, subsective. Go on. It's a smaller community within a larger community. Of people <laughs> who <laughs> fuck through a hole in a sheet. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so you never what? get to see your partner naked. Yeah. So yeah. I, I cut the hole there and I cut the hole here and I put it on top nah, of you? Nah. There's only one you don't have either. to wear a sheet. It's just the woman <laughs> has to wear a sheet. So I put the hole there? Because you know, oppression. Okay, start again. Where does this sheet go? On top of the woman. Yeah. Where's the hole cut? Where in her the... twat is. Okay. And how do I get there? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, there's a hole there. there. <laughs> Google Maps. I'm like, I don't know how to be. I need a GPS. <laughs> I don't know how to be any more helpful. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, I'm a, so big, it's that. a big circle around I've with an arrow I've never heard thing. this in my life. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go yeah. enter here enter with a yeah. with big red marker. Yeah. yeah. They do this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is religious. We shouldn't talk about this. Well, if they're listening. Well, but no. I want to say this one. I want to ask one question. Letters. Why do they do this? I do not know the answer to that question. Do they not want to see their face? Is it against the law? I mean, the rules? No, of, I, I, I... Or is it a special day? That's funny. I, have, I honestly don't know. Do I've, they do anal? No. Uh, it's personal Probably. preference. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Depends which side the sheet's on. I guess we could put the sheet on the other side, yeah. It's like, <laughs> I've surprise. never heard that. Fuck me, man. Yeah, well... Yeah. yeah, everybody, that just kind of goes back to the idea that everybody does things differently. Everybody's got their own way. Whatever like, happened to having a couple of beers, going out, fucking, going back home and relaxing, order a pizza, go to bed? I, people, does that ever that happen? Sounds, people that like still nice do night. that. It's just either not as common or not as spoken about because it's not as interesting. It's interesting. Like, you know, who says when we, you know, we could have fun doing crazy stuff while we're there, but like... The other stuff is a little bit outside the box. Like, these guys are getting sheets, and these guys are fucking... I don't know, man. I'm the maybe... sheets were there long before yeah, the, the internet. Yeah, the sheets were long before were there long before the internet. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, oh, yeah. this isn't a new idea. Oh, it's fucking <laughs> This goes way Julian's back. Julian's not too fucking smart to do this. <laughs> you know, in some cultures, just even looking at uh, the breast, let alone fondling them, is taboo because they're strictly for the mother to feed the children. Oh, you know what? That's a good yeah. thing. I was, I was watching uh, like, yeah, a movie. Weird. I mean, cool. You yeah. do, you I was do, watching you. this movie, to interrupt, sorry. I was watching this movie. It was a gangster movie. And the guy goes, uh, he had a girlfriend, right? And I go, the guy goes to him and goes, you know, I blew a nice load on her face. He goes, yeah. He goes, my wife? He goes, those are the lips I kiss. They kiss my kids. I don't come on her face. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. So that's why he gets the girlfriend to come on her face. Hmm. What do you think of that? Cool? I mean... No, I don't love it, but like... No, not you. Like, do you think the idea is cool? I know what you meant, and I don't love it. I can can see where that happens. I I can understand I like that that rule. I understand that. I think I would come on my wife's face. Fuck it. That's... Yeah, I understand the line of thinking, (laughs) but it's also like, if it's... If... I don't know. Sometimes in relationships... Uh, and you don't marriage, want to do that. Make, see, no, they make they make the wife to be out to be like the the, the, the I saint, did I right? did too. Yeah. Even with girlfriends, yeah, I wouldn't want to be really fucked up because I felt like oh, maybe it was because I thought maybe it would turn her back and it would haunt me. Like she would be like, "That's ridiculous. Why would you do that?" To right. Me? Well, I think that there's something to that that people would are afraid of being kink shamed by their partners. My kink, sh- I wouldn't be shamed because I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm, I have a strong character, you but wouldn't be. I wouldn't want to be like I wouldn't want to make her feel ugly, like not ugly, feel like disrespected. Yeah, well, that's... I guess is that kink shamed? I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I mean, like that's why the women that I know that won't allow anybody to do that to them is because it feels like this punishment, patriarchal, like gross. Is Dom- it gross? Okay, thing. so how about when I met a girl? Sorry to inter- one yeah, second. Yeah, I want to flip it. Go ahead. So when I met this one girl, I go, okay, are you good with cum and mouth? She goes, That's disgusting. what CIM stands for, by the yes. way. Yeah, that girl. Oh. I knew you knew it. I knew you knew it. Your way. You should be embarrassed. <laughs> 
Grimer, I mean, because he knows nothing. But uh, she goes, oh, that's disgusting. I would never do that. I go, come on face. She goes, oh, I love that. I'm like, okay. Wait, I'm not finished. And then the other, I mean, another girl. And she, I go, do you like come in mouth? Love it, love it. What about come on face? Never. That's disgraceful. It's disrespectful. Yep. So I'm like, okay, she's good. She's not. It's so like. I think it's the entry point of when you learn this stuff, right? right. There's moments, again, going back to the uh, the idea, like, you know, someone watches YouTube or YouTube Pornhub. Holy, that's fucking... Uh, Pizza's here. L.A., L.A. My, oh, yeah, okay, never mind. Your agent's calling. Yeah, my agent's <laughs> calling from L.A. Pizza, pizza. Anyways. No, there's that moment of when you, like, when you discover, like, Pornhub and you see the spanking and you think, oh, that's hot. It might be hot. That's how sex is supposed to be. So you ask your partner to do it to spank you, and then it's hardwired in you, right? Mm -hmm. And then you want that. Whether you like it or not, then all of a sudden it becomes like a fetish. I think the same happens. Uh, you know, someone says, hey, I, you know, a come girl in ever slap your ass? Oh, yeah. You like it? Well, it's not my go-to, no. I don't like it at all. A girl did it, I don't like it. But I met a girl once who shared with me how disappointed she was with her boyfriend for not spanking her. She goes, he won't hit Oh, me. I would spank He won't her. spank me. He's like, he doesn't want to spank well, me. Oh, spank you, not hit her. Yeah, but yeah. she wants good. to be spanked hard. Like, and he said... Too gentle. He's like being nice. No, no, me. I'd whack her ass to the point where she'd fucking see my hand. Well, on I asked her ass. where she learned it, and she learned it from uh, her mom. Used to be a sex ed teacher, and she would look on this, you know, but sexual. Yeah, but girls should online. never spank guys. Guys, that's this, that's gay. I mean, that's not for what? me, gay. That's okay to be gay again. I gotta make a quotation to stop saying that. Anyways, I <laughs> yeah, apologize. Yeah, we, we gotta find a word to sub out for yeah, you. Yeah, I, I said it three times. I said it once today, twice last week. Yeah, you got to find out what you think you mean okay, by that word. Okay, a guy that gets spanked by a girl, to me, it doesn't seem right. Yeah, but then, but then you ever that, spank a guy? But then that's like a kink shame thing, right? Like, what there if that's go. what he's into? What if he wants to get spanked? Then, like, then that's then chill. he's that word you don't want me to say. No, th but he's not. No. But he's not. Like, if that happens to be the thing that you're into, then all the more power to you. Right? He used to get spanked by mom. It felt good. Next Ew. thing you know. That's oh, sure. that's weird. Now we got, <laughs> now now we we got bad. Weird. Now we got weird. We got weird. Oh. Hold on. In the world of kinks, you're telling I'm, me... I'm going gonna, gonna gonna to ask, ask Sabrina, uh, Sabrina a personal question. You ever you, you spank guys? Um, Jokingly, outside of the bedroom, yeah. But, like, never in, like, a sexual way. Oh, okay, that doesn't count. Do you know I what meant I mean? sexual. Yeah, way. like, ne no. That's never. a fucking around. Yeah, yeah, buddy, whatever. You just whack his ass. Whatever. No, but like, I had one guy who wanted me always to like, to like pinch his nipples. That's fine. That's I like that. And, I don't, that's and, uh, that's normal. And then a, <laughs> that's normal. Not, not pinch, like to hurt, like to <laughs> but, touch. But just normal. like but, you know, give them some attention, and then no, I, nipples are it's normal. It's totally normal. But yeah. I, I think nipples on a man is different than nipples on a woman. They're just kind of. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm not us. a big tit guy, so I really don't care too much yeah. about breasts. But anyway, so I like he, ass. then a different guy was like, "Don't, don't ever, don't ever touch my nipples. I, I don't like it. It wears me out." Everybody's got their own thing, and I think yeah, it's just right, a matter right, of right. like Absolutely. knowing your own body. And so, if to I told you the, the the story I told you before, we were on tape when I went for my uh, physical when I turned yeah. forty, and the doctor put the one finger, and he had that big fucking finger. Then he started to turn it, <laughs> and then he goes, "I go, oh," and he goes, "Sorry, sorry." I go, no, no, it's okay, put two. And he <laughs> looked funny. at me. No, he actually looked at me like I was serious. I was like, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> and then I told him, I felt violated. Oh, I told you yeah. too. I felt violated for the rest of the day. Yeah. Like, it's weird, eh? Like, but I showed up again next week for a second opinion. <laughs> no, then I kept going to doctor. You know some girls who want to get a tan before they get married? Yeah. They go to six different tanning spas yeah. because you're only allowed to do so much in one day. Yeah. And by the end of the day, her face was Whoa. so fucked up Oh. Because that tanning comes out slowly. Yeah. So I that day when I made an appointment for a physical, I made six other physical appointments. Just to make yeah. sure. Well, Just I so. wanted the, the finger build up, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, on that note, Julian and Reimer with our special guest, Sabrina. We're out, people. Have a good week. Julian here, much appreciated for listening to our new 2020 podcast, Blow Hard Talk Hard with myself, that's Julian, and my, his co-host, Reimer. If you like this particular episode or any other episodes, or we hope you enjoy all the episodes, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. We appreciate feedback, good or bad. 
We are also located on all your favorite podcast platforms. Just so you guys know, we're on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, etc. Simply search Blow Hard, Talk Hard on your platform. You'll find us. That's Blow Hard Space Talk Hard. And if you want to get a hold of us directly, please email us at blowhardtalkhard at gmail.com. Our website is www.blowhardtalkhard.com. You can always listen there, take a peek, see what we're all about. Our Twitter, same deal. You can follow us, figure, you know, look at all our posts and see what's new and what's coming at blowhardpod, at blowhard, P-O-D. Please follow. And uh, Julian, speaking for Reimer as well, we're all people, stay safe, have a great week.